Dr. Sharnika points out that Namibia's independence was achieved at a high cost and that this year's celebrations it should be a reminder to all of how far Namibia has come. In the next few moments, we'll be addressing the, the nation on this occasion, which paved but also will from where we are. Part. And so, it is now up to then, every oh, you were a teacher. To the I, was a, I was a student in 1975. We are actually borrowing it from the generation that will come after us. We do not want the generation to come to find an empty Namibia plundered, Namibia wasted, but we must secure peace, stability, as well as our natural resources. We need to harness them in a sustainable way. Cuba's first uh, ambassador okay. to Namibia, Angel Dalmau, well, says Namibia, Namibia has forced the mount the dais. world economic realities in which it is Come difficult to cater for way. all the needs of the and citizens. Significant but he points held. out that Namibia uh, should never forget uh, how it uh, came about, saying it is important to savor the history of freedom fighters like Madume Demfayo, Jose Akutako, Jacob Marenga, Hendrik Vetboy, and Dimpa Toivo Yatoivo and Sam Nyoma, amongst others. I want to congratulate the Namibian people for that. Uh, you know, when Namibia became independent in 1990, it was, the celebration was not only here in Cuba and Havana. Every Cuban vessel on high seas was celebrating all our sailors by pulling the woo woo. You know, it was a, they were asked to celebrate since they were at high seas, nobody was listening on land. So they were doing all the Cubans were celebrating it, all the best, Namibians. The future is in your hands and uh, we know that you are going to do better and better.